you think? Good. All righty then. Good morning, everybody. It is January 15, uh, Wednesday, 2020. And I am headed into work for the day. Um, just dropped Grant off to his mom. She says she's feeling better. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, I think it was yesterday. His mom asked me how Grant was feeling. And she said that apparently we all have the plague over here. So apparently, I guess she was really sick on Monday. Logan got sick yesterday. I don't know if he went over by Rochelle yesterday. And yeah, so I asked her if she wanted me to keep him by my place today. And she said, no, thanks, that's okay. Bring him here. I'm like, okay. So I'm probably going to get back our deathly ill and sick little boy on Friday. <clears throat> we shall see. Um... I found a couple Facebook events that seemed really cool. Uh, Friday at the local junior college, they're having an open house for their maker lab. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I didn't even know this thing existed, but apparently they have a like a room or a lab set up at this college that has like probably a dozen um, 3D printers and just all kinds of cool shit. So I was thinking we can go check that out after work or school on Friday. Um, maybe even bring over our um, 3D printed battle bot <clears throat> and see what they have to say about that. Um, it'd be cool if we can ask them, you know, in a pinch if we're able to buy or purchase um, machine time or whatever to have them print stuff for us. So. Um, you know, maybe they can do larger prints or something, I don't know. But I think it'd be cool to have another resource. And um, maybe I can learn something too. Maybe they, you know, I could find out if they like offer classes. Uh, maybe they do stuff for kids, I don't know. Um, maybe they'll do like 3D rendering or modeling classes or something like that. It'd be kind of cool to actually learn how to do some of that stuff properly. So, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I even men mentioned it to Jessica last night. <clears throat> she said that um, she didn't even know that it existed or about it or whatever. So, she goes, she still goes to that same school. That's where she does her band performances and stuff. So, Jess, we went over by her last night. Finally, we're able to do the um, Christmas presents. So she got Grant a, <clears throat> a plastic model, like a model car. It's it's the Batmobile, um, but it's kind of more older. So it's not like one of the, the younger kid snap together ones. This one requires the uh, liquid cement or the plastic cement or whatever. And then I think you have to paint some of it and all of that. So <clears throat> that one might go on our... Uh, in our closet and we might build that in another couple years or something I'm not sure I, I don't know if I want him using cement that stuff is nasty if it gets on his fingers and he glues them together we're pretty much fucked <sighs> so um, I don't know I have to research that and figure out if I want him playing with that or not I kind of think no um, at, at 8 years old um, she, he wasn't really happy with the present because he didn't even know what it was. And he says he's built them before, but I doubt he's used cement. Um, and he's not a huge Batman fan yet because he hasn't seen the Batman movies because he's a little young for those. Um, so we are going to, uh, oh, so then Jess got me or made me uh, paint by numbers painting. It's really, really nice. It, um, it's a sunset scene with like a little rowboat in the foreground. It's really pretty, and she wrote me a really nice message on the back of it. Really nice. So, um, 
she's amazing. She's doing she's doing better. She got uh, she's been working on um, keto diet and stuff, so that's going well. Uh, last night uh, or yesterday, the timing belt and pulley set came for the battle bot and I mentioned it yesterday but I tried installing it the pulley fit perfectly on the weapon bar <clears throat> so I did measure that ahead of time so I, I, I wanted to make sure I got the right pulley so and I did um, and then the uh, the belt is too big now so a hundred I think the first one was 170 millimeters that one was too small and this one that we just got was 200 millimeters and that one was too long now so I ordered um, finger tech is actually on Amazon so I ordered um, I ordered uh, like three more sizes off of Amazon so I think I ordered Fuck, what did I get? Like 192 millimeter, 185 millimeter, and like 178 millimeter, or something like that. I ordered three different ones. Paid more for the shipping, so it's gonna be another 20 bucks. Um, still haven't even got the wheels from those fuckers. And I got a, a ship email sent out like Friday, so that sucks. But uh, I'm headed into work. I'm just getting frustrated with this battle bot. It's just nickel and dime. I'm just getting pissed off. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. At some point, it'll be done. And it'll be exciting and happy and yay. So. <coughs> okay, so I have to get into work. So, stay tuned. Alright, just getting out of work for the day. And today went well. Um, I had that meeting with my boss today about the um, creating the requisitions which essentially generates the purchase orders for two data center cleanings and I also completed the change request forms for the data center cleanings so what I was able to do was um, yeah I did that with my boss we spent a little over an hour on the training or whatever and I'm a little nervous about it because now this adds an, a whole nother element to my um, job. Uh, element of timing and scheduling and all that sort of stuff. So it gets uh, pretty complicated quickly here. And I spent a little over an hour, maybe about an hour and a half to two hours working on the um, cleaning out that storage room. So I'll have to bring my video camera in and show you guys what it looks like now because I know I showed you it probably a month or five or six weeks ago and um, it's much much better now. Um, there's still quite a bit of crap in there. I just need to sort out what we're doing with it all and whatnot. So I don't know. Um, tired it's Wednesday going home been out of work a few minutes late I got ta uh, stuck talking with a co-worker and stuff but um, yeah I don't know so um, other than that I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on tonight so um, maybe work on editing that wedding a little bit um, the battle bot is kind of sunk in the water until I can get those uh, new belts. I guess I could work on the BattleBots um, weapon bar, remodeling that in the 3D uh, Tinkercad program. And I was thinking about, but it's kind of cold, but thinking about going out in the garage and um, using my Dremel and hollowing out that Tesla body uh, that I 3D printed. Um, if I can do that, then um, potentially or ultimately fit it to the body on my RC18 truck. <sighs> Excuse me, that's my thought. Um, I am going to work on 3D printing some other stuff. So I got, um, I found a bunch of gun related uh, prints and files and stuff online. Um, everything from magazine holsters to tech lock 
um, locking mechanisms to um, quad loaders to shot shell carriers um, to molly um, stuff so stuff that will allow you to attach things to molly and all that so for like um, vests and stuff I even found a heavy duty hanger that you could print uh, I don't know if my printer will go wide enough to print that but that'll be good for holding vests and things of that nature that just break you know basic uh, hangers um, so yeah I guess we'll see uh, what I can uh, come up with today so I downloaded a bunch of those files today um, I can't I, I also had found AR-15 magazine files to print those and I can't find for the life of me where I saved those to so I thought it was on Thingiverse and I didn't email it to myself for some reason and um, I doesn't it doesn't look like I saved it to um, like a, a collection or whatever they call them in Thingiverse so I'm just like okay so I don't know I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I might get home, kick up my feet, and end up just calling it a night and not doing anything. Just sitting on my ass. I don't know. It's always a toss-up, right? Um, so, that's it. Stay tuned for more. All right. <clears throat> Another one of my tasks to do. I wanted to carve out this cyber truck body that I 3d printed and um, see if I can get it to fit onto my RC 18 T um, I will say that kinda sucked that was a whole hell of a lot of work and it's not even really like clean or done I mean when you look at it from top side it's okay I guess but I mean you can still see like it looks like slag in the wheel wells and stuff so I'm gonna go see just how far off this is before I keep digging on it I know the shock towers are gonna be basically coming through the bed the truck bed but I mean I am that's all microscopic PLA plastic I'm probably breathing it in awesome all right, here we go. Can you move? Thank you. All right, this is roughly what it'll look like. I'm kind of really excited about it. I, you know, it. I feel like it might be just a tickle bit too wide, and that the uh, tires might rub. But I mean, for an old RC car, I don't really care. I mean, I don't know. The only other option is to like cut like a huge chunk out of the side so the wheels can clear um, so it's still riding a little bit high what I'm thinking of doing is making it or cutting it so that those front shock mounts or, or um, clips or whatever actually come through the hood and the back ones are way more tricky so what I could probably do is cut like a notch like maybe I don't know, an inch wide across the entire bed, and that would um, that would allow the shocks to kind of go up into the bed area. So that's kind of just my thought, and then that would bring the back of the truck body down just just a little bit, um, probably even with that or something. I don't know. It'd be cool almost if I could do it so oh, never mind I was gonna say cut it so just the shock mounts come through but it's kind of all one piece what I'm gonna do is research and see if anyone makes like standoffs or something that go on here and like extend those up because I'm not sure I'm not sure you know it'd be it'd be actually probably best if I could just um, install it this high up in the air um, yeah the electronics would hang out a little bit underneath there but I could either make like a black bracket or something that kind of goes across there and hides it or just leave it, you know, then it almost looks more like a monster truck. And then the wheels would probably clear better too, but kind of digging it. I like it, you know, it's, it's different. It's, and it's all custom. 
Um, I did drill a hole in the top for the antenna. And let me show you kind of maybe in better light. But that's what it looks like. So to probably finish it, to get these front shock mounts to come through, these actually stick up or pro pro protrude. I would probably just clean this out a little bit. This is the front of the truck. Clean this out and then just drill like two holes, like one on either side, just inside those wheel wells. And it would have to be relatively precise. But um, I think that would be pretty awesome. Um, fitment, clearance, everything is good on the middle. And then it just comes down to the back. And kind of the issue with this, with this um, 3D print, or just the model in general, is the truck bed. So I didn't even think about it. But if the truck bed would have been like flush, it actually probably would have worked better as an RC bottle, body. Um, because it kind of stair steps in, you can kind of kind of see it. Um, if I hold it this way, you can see it's literally like a stair step on the inside of the model. Well, I guess it does the same thing, step down. Um, so, like I said, I can maybe like cut out a section all the way across the back, and that would just allow for this. You know, if I kind of do it like that, the antenna is always in the way. I could line it up and then figure out, okay, this lines up with this, slice it or cut it across here. And if I could play my cards right, hmm, no, I was going to say, like, I mean, if you look at this, the shocks stick up the highest, but they're almost like even with these posts, these stupid posts. And I'm also having an issue with this truck. And I already replaced this, uh, this is the gear that I replaced here, but I'm having an issue where it's slipping where it connects to the motor gear. So the motor gear is, let me see, you can kind of, it's connected to this one here. It's metal, it's gray metal, and it meshes with this thing. And it's, if I spin this, you can see the metal gear kind of spin, but it also is making like a slipping noise. I'm sure you guys can hear that. So, and the problem is this motor, you can see on the screw holes, but it's already pushed as far over towards this as I can get it. So, I mean, I can try to, um, try to loosen it or slide it more, but I don't know. I don't see it happening. The only other thought is to take a, a Remove, remove these bottom screws, take a drill bit, and kind of widen that uh, that slide hole so I can slide it closer towards that spur gear. So I don't know, because I do need to fix that. I can't really drive it at all or hard without it fucking up. So, yeah, sucks. But um, I also fixed this battery. This is a 2,000 milliamp hour battery to sell and I went to test this out earlier and I was like oh I got a minute let me just drive it around you know check this gear because I didn't I actually haven't even driven it since I replaced that gear I just kind of turned it on uh, pulled the trigger wheel spun I'm like okay cool so I was driving or I went to go to drive it around and it was completely dead like it was like weird I was like flipping the on off switch and it wasn't working at all and I'm like that can't be good so I like, I'm like, well, maybe I need to charge the battery. I go plug the battery in and I get that um, error message about the battery. Um, essentially, the battery was too low. The, um, I want to say it was under 5 volts. This is a two cell battery, so it's a um, 6 volt critical voltage limit. So that's not good. So I needed uh, to do my super special trick. I did film it for my uh, YouTube channel. But I, I had to get it up above 6 volts, and then I could actually recharge it um, as a LiPo battery. So, what a pain in the ass. And that took a while to do, but I, I salvaged it. Recharged it fully. It took uh, 70 minutes of charging. And, uh, yeah, this truck is so old and tired. I mean, if I hadn't built a BattleBot, I suppose I could have just bought a new truck. I mean, damn.
This thing is beat up. And old, old technology, man. So, um, yeah, that's my project for today. I, these are a couple shot shell carriers that I printed. And they are just, I, I don't, they don't fit together. There must be another piece or part I'm missing. So i got to figure that out. Um, Sophie is doing much better. Right, baby Sophs? She's doing way better. I think she's starting to lose her pop belly, too, underneath here. So, um, it seems to be the meds are going well. She's on three separate meds. And um, she's been sleeping through the night better. She's not been asking to go pee every two minutes and not peeing at all. So, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow. Oh, and to do all this, well, not all of it, but I use my new Dremel. This is the Dremel 4000. I originally bought this so I can uh, use use it to do some P80 stuff, Palmer 80 stuff, but uh, I don't know. That was for gone for the um, BattleBot, which is fine. It's fine. Um, worked well. Worked really well. I used a plastic uh, cutting blade, and I just basically sliced it up. I had it upside down, and I just sliced a bunch of channels into it. And just dug it out with some channel locks. So it worked, worked really well. Happy, happy about that. So I got to pack all this up. So see you tomorrow.